a critical part of the business, contact centres are one of the most continually and comprehensively measured departments within a company. Whether you're using wall boards with traditional call weights and queue lengths, first call resolution metrics or more modern customer effort scores, what underpins the ability to report on these departments is the availability of comprehensive, accurate and timely information. And that's what's so great about Asterisk. It's truly atomic in its reporting and data collection capabilities. Indeed, it not only enables a customer to be able to present standard information, the breadth of the data enables data mining into correlations between things like whether a customer has been placed on hold and the influence that may have on their customer effort score. Having the availability of that data and the ability to pull it out in a digestible way is absolutely critical to a contact centre going forward. As Asterisk has developed, we've realised that wherever you've got agents and queues, you've probably got contact centre managers very interested in the metrics around those queues. And so, we've seen our job as to provide the richest source of data, and we do that specifically for queues, as well as for all sorts of other core data records. And what that's meant is that within the Asterisk ecosystem, solutions have grown up and third parties have got involved who are much, much better at doing reporting tools and rendering onto plasma panels and things like that. Much better than us. They, they just take the data that we provide and then they've made a whole business out of providing a very, very rich data source. And this yet is another reason why Asterisk is such a great contact centre solution. So Asterisk has always had uh, a great deal of data that's available to it uh, and within it. And some of the recent changes that have been made as we've exposed additional APIs and as we've worked to really make it uh, a richer engine have made it possible for partners to take the data that's already inside of Asterisk and is coming across these various APIs and turn that into some combination of both historical and live or real-time uh, reporting that's really actionable or useful within a call center. And what's great about it is that it's not just what's built in there right now, it's also whatever you can imagine that you need. Since you're able to manipulate it at every layer from all the way down at the core of Asterisk, because it's open source, into the integration layers that partners put together to produce a contact center solution for a client, all of those things are exposed and available, so you can expose exactly the metrics that you want in exactly the way that you want. The most fundamental, important thing that Asterisk can do to make it easier for call center reporting to be integrated into the Asterisk engine is to provide the call center reporting software a predictable model of what occurs during a call in a queue. Uh, or in an outbound dial, or in any of the scenarios that occur within a call center. In Astros 12, we had a major focus of the development on that exact particular issue. We fundamentally re-architected the bridging framework inside of Asterisk such that in any complex call scenario, there is a predictable model for channels, for bridges, and for everything else that occurs in any kind of scenario that can possibly occur in any call center. The great thing about that is, because we now have a very predictable model to present to things like queue metrics or other great call center reporting software, their software can be made even better than it is today by consuming this information. This includes a all new and enhanced version of the Asterisk Manager interface, as well as an enhanced version of channel event logging, um, and along with many of the other traditional APIs that Asterisk offers. This means that those kinds of call center reporting softwares don't actually have to go consume any of the new interfaces necessarily to take advantage of the new architecture that's been developed. They can simply consume the existing interfaces with a few small enhancements and really get a very nice, stable, predictable model of all of the calls that occur within, the, within Asterisk. Additionally, because uh, Asterisk is open source and has such a large community, there are other companies that have built their entire business around perfecting certain use cases. In the uh, case of Lowway and Qmetrics, they're a very powerful uh, Q reporting package that's well known within the Asterisk community and uh, th they bring a lot to the table in terms of being able to have excellent reporting from Asterisk. So since not every customer needs to have the data presented in the same way, uh, we leave it to the to our uh, partners to take that data and turn it into meaningful information for the customer.